Is it possible to start a series, a game, better than this one? Uh, probably not. You know, you're a little anxious before you start. You know, a lot of emotions and, and you're not really sure what to expect. So when we go out and play a first period like that, I think it helps everyone to kind of find their game and get going. And uh, it's just great to see. Uh, get the building going and get our confidence in right away in this game. What did it mean to you, Henrik, to be able to repel the challenge of the Penguins down the stretch there? Uh, well, I, I thought we did a great job of, of keeping them to the outside and, and uh, when they needed to, we made some big blocks on the PK and especially in the second. Uh, we knew after the first period they were going to push, push us back a little bit. Uh, I thought we controlled the game really well for the first 20-30 uh, minutes and then they start coming a little bit more but we played a really smart game and it was a good start for us. What does it mean to win the first game of a series like this? Well it's always important to, to build in a series. You start with one and you want to feel good about yourself and your performance and when you win you definitely feel a lot better. Uh, but it's just one. so. Uh, Another good practice tomorrow, and then we'll get ready for another one. So, yeah. but a definitely a good start. After, after the injury, was there any doubt you know, in your mind that you'd be mentally and physically? Me personally? Yeah. After my, no. You know, uh, after a few games, when, when I came back, uh, I felt so much better already in game two and game three that I was confident with, with the progress that I had that I will be ready for the playoffs. But, he said, I don't want to be in one game, but I was happy with the way I played down the stretch of the regular season. And um, I knew it was going to be a challenge the first couple of games to feel good about my game. But the good thing was for me that I was able to practice for six, six, seven weeks without high shots, but still work my conditioning and technique. And that definitely, definitely helped me uh, come back to my game faster. So I'm just excited to be part of this. And, and you know, playing and um, well, we're not playing, you miss it a lot. So, uh, good, good first game for us. The way we started the game and kind of build each period. What can you guys take from last year and try to use it into this year's run? I'm sorry, what? What can you take from last year's run and try to use it into? This I think year's run? you use something from every year. You know, I played for 10 years here and a few years back home, and every year you learn something about the game, about yourself. So you kind of add everything, and it's not just about last year. You know, I think everyone knows what what it takes to to um, go all the way. It's just a lot of hard work and, and the right attitude every day. Uh, preparations is key. You know, eat, sleep, prepare mentally for each game, and um, so I think this is something we look forward to for a long time. But at the same time, we kept our focus on the regular season. But now here we are, and we, we just need to make sure we we leave everything out there. Every night. Night. You've been through a lot of these games, one nothing, two one. Had a nurse that a one goal lead through the end. How much does that experience help you to like tonight? Well, I think when you have a good structure, guys feel more comfortable. And, and the way we've been playing all year and, and tonight as well, we believe in each other and we know what's going on. And that helps a lot when you're under pressure, especially against good players like Pittsburgh. You know, they can make good plays if if you don't know what's going on. And you try to be one step ahead all the time. And when the puck comes down, guys know where to go and where to be open for for their team. Teammates and makes makes it a lot easier to play under pressure. So it was a great way to to win this game. You know, we, we started off really well in the first period, kind of you know, everything went our way, and then we knew that we we're going to push back a little bit. So it was a good test for us to kind of uh, keep this game in, in, in the right place. It's obviously an incredibly quick game, but or is there a second or two to see? All right, Malkin's here, Crosby's here. That's like you try to be aware of when when they're out. Because they're a big part of their game. If you can shut them down, you you know you have a lot better chance of winning. But they they definitely have other players that can step up. Uh, right. uh, but when you have two of the best players in the world, of course you're gonna play a big part. So um, I thought we did a great job of, of keeping our focus when they're on the ice to play smart. You know, when, if you make mistakes in the wrong areas against this team, they're fast and they're coming at you and they're good at making plays. So. Puck management is key, and I thought tonight we played a really smart game. And is playing them so many times in the past, is that relevant at all? Does that mean anything? Or? Well, I, I think both teams know what to expect. You know, it's, it's there's no surprises. The things we talked about pretty much happened, uh, and, and you just have to make sure you're focused on the things you talk about, and uh, mentally you, you're just locked in. Um, and then it comes down to execution, and, and I thought when we got that start in the first period, we, we just kept on going and then played a really 
really it's a strong 60 minute game. You know, we created a lot of chances. We didn't give up that many chances. So uh, it's just nice to get the first one out of the way. And then now we just reload and get ready for the second one. What does that do for you mentally when you see your team score that early in the first game of the first game? Well, I think everyone is just excited. You get the momentum and confidence, you get the building going right away, and it's ex exactly the start you're looking for. Uh, you don't have to think too much when you get that balance and that goal that early. You know, you, you try just to build build uh, your game you know every five minutes you, you go out there and try to play fast play smart and then I thought we did it didn't seem like it was very comfortable for the fans watching in the last 30 minutes <laughs> is it for a goalie when you're holding a lead in the playoff game that's one goal no, I think hockey, that, that's the beauty of the sport. It's never comfortable, even with two goals. You know, Everything can change so fast. It's a penalty or a bad bounce. or It's so fast. So you have to uh, keep your focus. Uh, and you can't expect the game go smoothly. You know, our, Like I said, our first period, everything went our way. It felt like we, we created a lot and didn't give up much. And, and, but we knew you know, the game's going to change a little bit. They're going to come and push a little harder. And they they did, but we, we managed to stay smart and, and cool, and, and uh, really, I thought we were sticking to our, uh, our system a lot, and it helped us under under pressure, especially the third. Okay, this is the last one for energy. Is Dan Girardi go down? What's that like? And then, and yeah. How challenging is it? Yeah, it's it's not good to see one of your uh, key players to get hurt like that. I'm, I'm just hoping that everything is fine. He's a he's a tough player, you know. When you when you look at him throughout the year. He always has bruises and, and uh, marks on his body because of the way he plays. Uh, so I'm just hoping that it, it, he's good enough to play in the, in the next game. But um, we'll see. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.